Okay, so I'm using the microphone on the Steam Deck this time. Uh, I don't know how it sounds, let me know. But yes, this is the definitive way to install Sonic Riders on the Steam Deck. I know it's finally here, I can't believe it. Uh, we're we'll using Sonic Riders DX like the previous video. So if you want information on how to install that on like a non-Steam Deck device, then you can go there. So we're going to be using roughly the same method, but obviously it's going to be slightly different. Uh, you want to download the Sonic Riders DX uh, patcher and extract it here and it will extract it to its own separate folder. You'll also need a Sonic Riders ISO file. Um, links to get that uh, won't be provided, but you know, use your noggin, uh, rip it yourself or use Google. So, double prerequisites, you want to grab the Dolphin emulator. So head to the Discover store and type in Dolphin. Cool. Uh, I, I, I'm using a really scuffed keyboard, so uh, Dolphin, there we go, third time lucky. Uh, not to be confused with the Dolphin file manager that's in KDE. Maybe you look up the top one here and install that and then hit launch. Uh, you can also use the um, the Sonic Riders DX uh, edition of Dolphin. Um, it's just as simple to set up. You just download that, you go to the GitHub repo and you go to the latest releases and then download the Linux version here, which is right here. Um, this is only used if you want to um, compete in tournaments and stuff because that's a requirement. Um, it's also a requirement for netplay as well. Um, just so everyone is on the same sort of version and it has a few extra little tweak for Sonic Riders but for our use case if you just want to play it locally then the just the normal version will suffice so in Dolphin we've got it opened up we've got our Sonic Riders ISO here uh, this won't be here by default what you want to do you want to go to config you want to go to path and you want to add a path to the um, directory where you have your so so i've got mine in my downloads folder as you can see right here now if it's not an iso file sometimes it might be an rvz file what you want to do is you want to right click it in dolphin convert file and then convert to an iso so it could be in either of these formats you want to convert to an iso otherwise uh, it will not work the little patching process next up we want to get the patcher working uh, so there's a few prerequisites that we want to do. Uh, if you hit the README, uh, there's a little simple command that we can do, but before we can run that command, we need to install .NET Runtime 5 or newer. So, what you want to do, you want to open up a terminal, and this can be slightly um, advanced, but I'm going to guide you through every step of the way. So, firstly, what we want to do, we want to disable the read-only protections of the Steam Deck. This is completely fine and normal. Um, so there's a simple command to do this. Uh, it's on Valve's website. You want to type in sudo steamos dash read only disable and you'll enter your sudo password. The first time you run this command, it will prompt you to create a password, I believe. Um, and it's just asking for this password here. So I'm going to enter my password. There we go. It's warning me that it's already read write, which uh, is fine. Oh, I've already done this before. Next up, we want to uh, get the package manager uh, Pac-Man working. This isn't by working by default. If you try to install a package, then it will just error out and fail because it not got the correct key ring um, initialized or populated. So Pac-Man, if you don't know, is the sort of uh, package manager for Arch, which is what Steam OS is based on. So you want to type sudo pacman dash key double dash in it well in it and there we go and that will initialize the key uh key store uh sorry key ring rather uh nothing's happened here because i've already done it uh and then what you want to do is you want to populate this so instead of dash dash in it you want to do dash dash populate and then arch let it and what we'll do, we'll do the Arch Linux keys. And you also want to do, instead of Arch Linux, you want to do Hollow. And there we go. So now you can install packages 
as you will. So we're going to do sudo pacman dash capital S dot net dash runtime. And this will install the latest uh, runtime that's not in like uh, whatever it is, like beta or whatever. Um, it will give you this little uh, pop up message. And what you want to do, you want to proceed with installation by typing Y, enter, whoop, Y, enter. And then there we go. That is the .NET runtime successfully installed. Now, what you want to do next is you want to copy over your ISO to a specific location in the uh, patch directory. So you want to right click. Uh, we can move it if you really want. So I'm going to do cut. You go into the folder, into the patcher folder, and then paste it in here. Paste one file, and then there we go. Next, head to that readme that we opened earlier. Put it down here. And there's a little command which you can just copy and paste, uh, which is right here. So if we copy, and then if you did what I did earlier where you opened the um, thing in the terminal, if you didn't, then that's fine. What you can do is you can go into the patcher folder, and then right click, and then open terminal here, and it should take you to the correct location. Paste this command in. This command is actually incorrect. It's actually missing a, um, what was it, apostrophe here, or a quote. Once you do that, hit enter, and it should start patching the uh, ROM for you, and then you should be good to go. Once you've done that, once it's fully patched, you want to go back into that folder, and you should see Sonic Riders DX 2.1, you want to copy that back into your downloads folder or wherever you want, paste it in, and then you can delete the other one if you so wish. Oh, I'm just going to grab it. Um, and I'm just going to move it back. And then there we go. We now have the original and modified ones. If you go back into Dolphin, hit refresh, you should see this new one here. And if I double click it, you can see, here we go. All works fine. Wonderful glory. It's just so that is it. Uh, there's a few things that you want to set up before you go back to game mode. In config, make sure you, on the interface, go down to mouse cursor visibility and make sure it's on movement. Um, just in case you want to move around and the cursor's just it's not there. In controllers, you want to bind your controller. So right here, you want to do the Steam Deck slash zero Steam Deck. Bind all your keys. I've already done this, so it's all good to go. C stick, got the control stick, all good. Um, you also want to go into graphics, uh, change your backend to Vulkan for better performance, render to the main window down here, and under advanced, if you really want, you can show your FPS. Under enhancements, you can change your resolution to be a better, higher resolution. And that will be basically all you need to do. Um, next up, is the final thing if you want it to show up into um, steam os you want to open steam go to your library uh, get rid of the sub that anymore you want to add a non-steam game by down going down here add a non-steam game and then checking oh hello uh steam me <laughs> sorry as i was saying you want to go add game Add an on Steam game, and then the Dolphin emulator should be in this list. I've already ticked it, so I'm just going to quickly show you what it looks like. So if I remove, let's go. Go add game, add an on Steam game, and there we go. Dolphin emulator. Not to be confused with up here, Dolphin. That is a f the file manager that's used for KDE. Don't do that one because uh, yeah, unless you want to browse your files and in, in the a normal mode but yeah that's it I, i'm gonna restart but i'm also gonna stop the recording first because otherwise it will like corrupt but yeah i'll meet you guys in desktop mode or sorry rubber steam os mode and that's basically it if you go into your library and your non-steam category you should see the dolphin emulator there no configuration needed you just hit play and it will open it up and then you have your sonic riders iso you can have a look and see if all your configurations been applied in uh, SteamOS mode. Other than that, you just click on the uh, ROM and then click play. And you are off to the races. 
that's pretty much it. Uh, that is everything you need to know. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of gameplay while I ramble on about things. Yes, I know this video took so long to make. Uh, I've been super busy. There's just been a lot of stuff happening IRL. Um, I've had a lot of suggestions in the past months about what I can do, uh, what other games I can do, and I'm definitely adding them to the list. Hopefully it won't be too much longer um, to get around to the other games as I did with this. But yeah, um, that's basically it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys hopefully uh, in the next sort of definitive way to play video, uh, whatever that will be. See you later.